Hi beautiful people, thank you for tuning in. My name is Lucy and today we are going to talk about uh, vegan cheese and yogurt. So let me show you this book. So this is really useful book and uh, if you know somebody who is a dairy uh, which goes vegan, I think this is really helpful one. So I leave it in the description. I already started and usually, you know, I'll show you the process uh, from the beginning uh, to the finish, but uh, I am already in the middle of the process. So let me show you what I got. So this is a uh, vegan cashew yogurt. I need to give it a good stir and uh, it has uh, risen significantly. So I fill it sort of uh, three quarters and this is what happened sort of uh, overnight. And uh, I'm gonna give it a good stir and uh, put it in the fridge. Uh, it should get thickened even further. And uh, it's really uh, useful if it's too thick, you can put the water and dilute it. This is made from uh, cashew nuts and uh, I've got also cheese. So I've got it in the bowl, covered with plate and this is what it looks like so it's ripening nicely it smells very good and uh, what is it this is also from cashew nuts and uh, i made it a bit uh, rejuvenate what on earth is it so let me get uh, out of this uh, black cover can you see the bubbles rising not sure if you are able to see it on the camera but uh, this is sort of ready as you can see i've been using it uh, I, I already used this bit this uh, rejuvenac is based on a uh, sprouted uh, spelt grains you can use uh, any grains uh, or pseudo grains uh, you like you can use uh, wheat you can use rye you can use spelt uh, you can also use millet you can use uh, quinoa whatever you fancy so uh, i've got quite a lot of uh, spelt grains i'm making my own uh, flour and uh, when I saw this, I was thinking, oh, this is amazing way how to use it. So I sprouted uh, some grains and then I fill it with water and left it to uh, own devices for sort of two days. Now I'm gonna strain it. I already use a uh, rejuvenac base for the cashew yogurt and uh, cashew cheese. So this is uh, how you can make it. So this is what uh, this makes uh, rice and stuff like that. And it gives the nice uh, cheesy flavor. So uh, you can see the process uh, of making uh, above. Uh, so uh, loads of uh, blending and combining. And uh, I leave all the recipes uh, below in the description. So you know how to make uh, rejuvenac, which is the base for your uh, cashew yogurt or cashew cheese. Uh, then I will leave you the description for uh, cashew yogurt and cashew cheese. And uh, you can play with it. Uh, you can um, have a little go and uh, once you master the basic, uh, you can play with spices. At the moment, I am keeping everything uh, plain and simple. I'm just using uh, Himalayan salt, uh, rejuvenac, a uh, bit of water if necessary, and uh, soap cashew nuts, and uh, that's basically it. But uh, once I master it, I really want to play with spices, uh, especially uh, for, for the cheese version. And uh, I also leave uh, the book description uh, in the below because you can also make some millet butter and stuff like that. So amazing stuff. Uh, I just want to mention when you make the rejuvenac, uh, don't use uh, tap water. 
you need to use uh, filtered water or spring water because uh, the chlorine uh, in the water uh, it's now really good for the starter so I don't think uh, your rejuvelate would start and this is really good probiotic drink so you can drink it neat uh, you can drink it uh, first thing in the morning I haven't tasted it yet but uh, I'm going to I'm actually baking some muffins and I'm thinking can I actually use a bit of water to put it into the dough? I think I will have a go and see what happens. And uh, you can make some batches uh, for the cheese uh, and uh, yogurt uh, if you make a big paste. But uh, the rest uh, you can just drink it and as with anything new, please uh, start really small. So have a little tiny shot uh, first thing uh, in the morning on empty stomach and it should really help you. And you see how, how you feel, how it goes and just listen to your own body. And uh, you can see the Rechubalanka recipe here. So if you are interested to get this book, I would highly recommend it and uh, they are nice colorful pictures so this is the basic uh, cashew cheese uh, which I am uh, doing at the moment and uh, I will also show you cashew yogurt uh, with uh, rejuvenac you can also make uh, cashew yogurt and uh, instead of uh, rejuvenac you, you can use uh, any vegan yogurt uh, just uh, scoop it uh, out and put it uh, in this base and it should do the same thing uh, I ran out of my uh, vegan yogurt so I was thinking I'm gonna try it uh, rejuvenac instead and it's really easy to make at home and uh, the benefit you've got uh, you can also drink this wonderful liquid so let me know in the comments below uh, have you ever uh, come across this? Have you ever heard about this? Do you do this on a regular basis? If so, have you got any tips? If not, uh, have I intrigued you to try it? And uh, I just wonder, do you do something with uh, these ones uh, once you uh, made your rejuvenac? I had, uh, you can discard the water, obviously you use it or drinking or whatever. And you can reuse this uh, one more time but uh, obviously the first uh, drink it's much stronger it's much uh, better it's got uh, more like uh, vitamins and minerals but uh, you can have also a second go and uh, I think in this book it was mentioned if you are uh, baking bread or something so these grains uh, should be soft enough to uh, you can incorporate it into your dough and uh, have something like extra many people discard these so let me know in the comments below uh, what do you do with these ones do you just uh, put it uh, on your compost heap or do you reuse it do you bake with it do you do second batch or uh, i am really curious to know because uh, i always look for the ways how uh, eliminate waste and stuff like that so i just wonder can I do something with this? So let me give it a stir. It's sort of nice and fluffy. And wow. <laughs> Just making sure everything combines nicely together. And then I put it in the fridge and it should uh, thicken even further. And uh, you can do this for, I don't know, up to two days. It depends on the temperature and stuff like that. I leave everything in the description. Obviously, I live in UK and it's winter time. So it's going to be different to you. I don't know uh, wherever you are, what is the temperature there. So you just um, have a little taste, keep an eye on it and let me actually taste this. It's nice. You can feel a bit like the sour taste. And mm, 
if you like you can combine it with honey or with some fruit so yeah i think uh, i will be doing this more because uh, this is something like uh, really good for you okay i have to stop it now <laughs> so i'm gonna put the lid on it and uh, put it in the fridge and uh, with the cheese I do the same I think I will put it uh, into different bowl it's really smooth it's really it's really creamy And I don't think it will last long so I'm just thinking maybe I've got some paprika so I maybe mix some paprika in so I've got already some ideas in my head but uh, plain as it is it's really good and uh, it's the same just play with it uh, you can uh, have some nice uh, cheese dishes uh, I don't have any but uh, next time I've got like smaller bowls so I think I will put it in smaller bowls to make it nicer or you can put it in a muffin casing you just play with it so you have it really nice and uh, yeah whatever you do you just uh, cover this with a clean plate and uh, leave it on its size to do uh, its own thing it's uh, you can leave it up to two three days uh, keep tasting it uh, and see how the flavor discovers obviously when it's uh, warmer the fermentation process is much quicker i hope you find it inspiring so i'm gonna strain my rejuvelac now i'm gonna keep the water and uh, you can see it's got uh, nice and uh, milky color we've got some bubbles on the top we've got the lovely sprouts here you can let it sprout for a little bit longer if you like before you pour the water in just make it nice filtered clean water and uh, yeah let me know in the comments what are you up to Thank you so much for watching, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe now if you haven't done so, share with your friends and family, spread some love, leave me some comments and uh, thank you so much for watching, stay amazing, that's all from me, from my heart to your heart, bye until next time.